Dr. Roulette, and this video is a little more serious than most of my videos that I've made. Um, I'm going to show you a few pictures and then we'll get to the point. But as a disclaimer to this video, uh, if you're looking for some kind of crazy, wacky, angry, yelling entertainment, you're not going to get it right now. I'll make one for you later. Um, this video is about cancer. Um, this is my grandfather and I. Uh, he is a Korean War veteran. He's had cancer for about a year now. Uh, my grandfather is my biggest hero. Always has been. And uh, that's most why I'm making this video. Cancer is... Don't laugh at me, Bob. Cancer is not to be taken lightly. Um, I used to think of cancer as kind of like a precautionary little red riding hood thing. Like, if you smoke, you'll get cancer. No shit. If you smoke, you, if you don't smoke, you'll get cancer. And I didn't really pay any attention. I was like, I'm not gonna get cancer. Nobody I know is gonna get cancer. What's wrong? Yeah. And every time, you know, those people at outside the supermarket, where have you, would want like five dollars for cancer donations. Ah, like, I'm gonna do that. I was wrong. Um, so if you think that you may have cancer, or someone you know may have cancer, go get checked. If your friend or family member or whoever is too afraid to go get checked, go with them. Hold their hand. Make sure they go. Don't wait until it's too late and you're gonna die. That's stupid. You know what? That's just fucking retarded. And, you know, it's such a horrible disease. It's like... 21st century boogeyman, you know? <laughs> it, you know, a boogeyman adults are afraid of. It's just, I never thought that I'd ever, like, care about cancer. Never thought, well, um, cancer is just bad. I mean, we know that. And I don't see why people freak out over, like, stem cells and dogs in cancer research, dogs and monkeys, it's a few unwanted fetuses and a few, you know, animals have to die so that thousands, millions of people can live. It's a small price to pay. It's not like we're asking much, you know? And it, people who have cancer, are, they're just everybody else, you know, anybody can get cancer. There's the people who, who sell your cars, who, you know, figure out your accounting shit, who, you know, make your dinner in a restaurant, you know, it could be anybody. And you're willing to give those people up because you don't want to think about a dog dying? That's fucked up. <laughs> that makes you worse off than anybody who's ever experimented on an animal or on a stem cell, you know? And it's fucked up that we could cure shit and remedy shit like nasty sexually transmitted diseases but a perfectly legitimate disease that isn't caused by fucking you know fuck that you know we'll do it later it's bullshit I mean I know thousands of hours are spent in cancer research and, and I know that a lot of people are working on it a lot of doctors but can't we work harder this is a serious problem why doesn't anybody care? Oh, because it's not happening to you. That's right. You don't have cancer. You don't think you have cancer. Just think. Happy as you are right now, up and moving around and mobile and everything else, doing everything for yourself, in just a fucking year, you could be laying in bed having to have people walk in the bathroom and not able to hold your own cup or stay awake. That could be you. Get tested or something. Get checked. It may not just be something small. It may be something on a much larger scale. You know, your life may be in danger. Don't take it lightly. Don't treat cancer like, you know, a fairy tale. Cancer is a very real, very scary disease. Lots of people die from cancer every year. There are probably people from dying, dying from cancer right now. And there is nothing anyone can do to help them. I understand that some forms of cancer and some cancers, if they're caught early enough, can be helped. My mother is a two-time 
ovarian cancer survivor. And my grandfather, who, you know, has always helped people his entire life, who cares? Nobody. That's who. There's no body working on any kind of comic book special theorem, you know, building of bionic legs and bionic kidneys. If I ever get cancer, I'm done. Because there's nothing that anyone can do. I don't want to lay there and have people looking over me feeling so bad about something that they can't do anything about. And, you know, it, there's no hope. It's stupid. Cancer is... And then, like, my grandfather was a very religious man. This is him when he was a preacher. And yet now he feels abandoned. I wonder why. If there is a God, which there's not, if there was a God, you know, my Christian subscribers, why? Why, you know, why? Why cancer? Why can't death be painless? Why do you have to go through years and years of suffering? and painful medical inspections and sickness and all of this horrible stuff to get closer to your God. He does that on purpose? He wants you to feel pain? This is fucked up. It's shit. I should just make videos called What's Fucked Up? By Cinderella. But, you know, this probably wouldn't get a lot of views. But anyway, in the long run, uh, point of this video, short tweet, do yourself check. You're never as healthy as you think you are. You know, go out and walk the dog. Do things. <laughs> Make sure that you're at least a little bit healthy. Don't take the small things as small things when it could add up to a big picture of your death. Because cancer is horrible. You never want to have cancer. I don't want you to have cancer. It's, and one of my subscribers is like, hey, Cinderella, I have cancer. I would feel bad. I don't feel bad for shit. I hate people. But I would feel bad. That's the one thing that I feel bad about. Cancer. Because if you got AIDS, that's your own damn fault. You know, in most circumstances. If you got cancer, there's not shit you can do. That's it. Go rob a bank. Go kill some monkeys at the zoo. Live your fucking life while you can. Because it could be gone in just minutes. I can't snap my fingers. I'm going to learn to snap my fingers today. Every day, I'm going to do something new. That's what I'm going to do. Every day, I'm going to try to do something new. I'm going to live my life like every day is the last day I get to live. Because you never know. You never know when you're going to die. You could die when you walk outside. You could die rolling your fat ass out of bed. You don't know, do you? Exactly. Oh, shit. So, that's my video about cancer. My whole 8 minute, 30 second video. Longest fucking video I ever made. But, get yourself fucking checked out. Give $5 every now and then. You know, maybe if we don't treat it like it's something out of a science fiction novel, then maybe we can cure it. Maybe we can beat it. Sorry about not wearing makeup. I don't give a fuck.